How to Spend 5 Days in Phuket, Thailand Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to be showing you all the different things you can do in Phuket, Thailand over the span of 5 days. This is a great opportunity to explore everything that this beautiful country has to offer. For the best beach experience in Phuket, it is advised to visit between November and April. During these months, the weather is perfect for activities like swimming and boating. However, from May to October, there is a monsoon season and the water conditions can be hazardous, though this period may offer lower accommodation prices. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for future videos. Day 1 Take in the beauty of Phuket Town and visit Wat Chalong Temple. Welcome to Phuket Town, a place of rich cultural heritage and breathtaking landscapes. On your first day here, make sure to take your time soaking in all that this town has to offer. From the vibrant colors of the shop houses to the intricate architecture of buildings such as Wat Chaling Temple, there is so much beauty to take in. Make sure you visit Wat Chaling Temple, one of the most revered temples in Phuket, and take a moment to marvel all the intricate details of the architecture. There are countless things to do here from shopping at the vibrant weekend market or spending an afternoon of one of Phuket's many pristine beaches. Visitors can also enjoy local food specialties like street-side seafood barbecue or visit historical landmarks like Wa Chaling Temple. The nearby Bangla Road nightlife district is full of bars and clubs, giving visitors plenty of opportunities for fun after dark. No matter what you're looking for, Phuket Town has something for everyone. Day 2. Explore the beaches and soak up some sun at Patong Beach Welcome to day 2 of your beach vacation in Phuket. Today, it's time to put on your swimsuit and grab your sunscreen because we're heading to the beautiful Patong Beach. With its crystal clear turquoise waters, soft sandy shores and endless sunshine, Patong is the perfect place to relax and soak up some rays. But don't just lay there, you can explore the beach with a stroll along the shore, snorkeling in the shallow waters, or even trying out some water sports like jet skiing or parasailing. And when you're ready for a break, grab a refreshing drink or a mouth-watering snack from one of the beachside cafes or vendors. So let's take advantage of this amazing day and make some unforgettable memories at Patong Beach. Day 3 Spend the morning at Fifi Islands. Enjoy lunch at Bamboo Island. Are you ready for another day of adventure in Thailand? On day 3, we'll be heading to Fifi Island to soak up some sun and explore the picturesque landscape. Spend your morning lounging on the white sandy beaches or take a dip in the crystal clear waters. Make sure to bring your camera to capture the extraordinary views that surround you. After enjoying some time on Fifi Island, we'll head over to Bamboo Island for lunch. This tranquil island is a hidden gem, perfect for unwinding and indulging in some local cuisine, from the vibrant blue waters to the lush green vegetation. Day 3 is guaranteed to be another unforgettable experience in Thailand. Day 4 Have an adventure with tour of James Bond Island and Koh Phan Yi. Are you ready for an adventure on day 4 of your trip? Then get geared up for a thrilling tour of James Bond Island and Koh Phan Yi. Unleash the 007 agent in you as you explore the famous island where James Bond's The Man with a Golden Gun was filmed. Witness the breathtaking beauty of the limestone cliffs and crystal clear waters that surround the island. After experiencing the island, head to Koh Phan Yi. A floating village built entirely on stilts, providing a unique experience that a must-see on your trip. Tour the area and soak in the local culture while enjoying an array of seafood delicacies. It's one of a kind adventure that all have you feeling like a true adventurer. Day 5 Enjoy some shopping in Phuket's night markets or indulge in a Thai massage. Welcome to Day 5 of your Thai adventure. After days of exploring the beautiful beaches and scenic landscapes, it's time to wind down with some shopping and relaxation. Phuket's night markets offer a delightful experience for those looking to shop their hearts out. From handicrafts to clothing and street food to souvenirs, you'll find everything to take back fond memories of Thailand. 
Alternatively, if you're in need of some pampering, indulge in a revitalizing thigh massage. Thigh massage are famous for their soothing techniques that release built-up tension in your body, leaving you feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. So let loose and pamper yourself today. What to eat in Phuket, Thailand? The cuisine in Phuket is similar to the food found on the mainland, with popular dishes like tom yun gung, sum tam, and green curry. For a fancy Thai dining experience, Tong Di the Kathu Brashiri is highly recommended by recent travelers for its pleasant staff and consistently tasty food. On the other hand, for an affordable but still delicious meal, O Farm Thai Ad in Phuket Town is a good option. If travelers want to learn more about the local food, they can sign up for a cooking class that is often taught in English. The Kata Thai Cooking Class by Sally in Kata Beach and the Phuket Thai Cookery Schools in Phuket Town are two cooking schools that are recommended by travelers. At these classes, chefs will teach participants how to prepare traditional Thai dishes like prawn soup and green curry. The cost of these classes usually ranges from $60 to $90 per person. If you're looking for a break from the hustle and bustle of everyday life, a trip to Phuket is sure to provide you with a perfect escape. From beautiful heritage sites like Wat Chalung Temple to stunning beaches like Patung Beach and adventurous outings to James Bond Island or Bamboo Island, you can find something for everyone. And be sure not to miss out on the vibrant night market or a thigh massage. If your travel takes you to Thailand, it would be a shame not to experience all that Phuket has to offer. So make sure to add this destination into your itinerary. So which of these activities would you like to do in Phuket, Thailand? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and any tips you may have in your own personal adventure in this beautiful part of Thailand. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.